In this video, I'm going to briefly go over how to set up your Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7. First things first, just go to Google and search Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7. Click on the first link. It should be from Hack 5. Once you do that, you're going to follow the instructions here. At this point, make sure that your Wi-Fi Pineapple is plugged into your computer. If it's plugged in, click on that link right there and make sure it's connected to it. And this should take you right here where you need to download the latest firmware. Go ahead and click on Continue and just let it do its thing. It might take a little while, probably took, for me, like five to 10 minutes. Once you're done with that, you should be greeted with this screen. Now, I, I apologize for the quality here. When I zoomed in, it lost a lot of uh, sharpness, but anyway, this is the screen you will get. Just click on the next step. Um, I recommend doing this one right here uh, because uh, you should already have your thing plugged into your uh, computer using the USB Type-C. And you click on continue. And then it should ask you for root password. So the root password basically is the admin account on the device. Um, so you can log into it and do administrative things and use the actual device. Um, go ahead and set that up. Pick up a password that you'll remember. Um, this is the one you're going to log into toward the end as well. You're going to need these credentials. So make sure you, you write it down or keep it safe. Once you do that, pick your uh, time zone. And then you're going to set up your two Wi-Fi ssids you're gonna have two networks one that people are going to connect to and try to put in their password and credentials which you're going to grab later and then you have the management one so the management one's the one you're going to want to connect to and then use that root password to get in once you set that up go ahead and hit next okay so this is like a tricky part so basically there's an allow list or you can pick a deny list so basically if you set up the allow list, you pick the devices that and MAC addresses that you allow to connect to the device, or if you just make a deny list like what I did, it's just easier because I don't, I don't the I just you don't need to put anything. If you have nothing in the deny list, that means everybody can have access to this. You can pick and choose what you want. The easier one is a deny list. Again, if you want to do an allow list where you can only have a certain amount of devices that connect to it, then so be it. But for someone that's just learning to go too crazy, uh, I would just do the deny list. And one of the best features is dark mode on anything. So definitely enable that. If you're crazy, do white mode. And then just agree to terms and services after you're done reading it. And then just wait for it to complete. And you're pretty much done. That's your whole setup. Um, you should be greeted with the root login screen. Log into the root uh, password that you did earlier. And you're pretty much ready to go. If you like these short, simple setup guys, let me know. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a good one. And remember, safety is an illusion. And I'll see you in the next one.